terms of what the gallbladder is and what it does, it's right up against the liver and it exists as something of a reservoir. So, you know, the liver has fundamentally two jobs. One of them is to process metabolites coming out of the blood, coming out of the gut, and the other is to process things from the blood and put them into the gut and help in digestion and so on. And part of the way that it does the latter is through bile. And so the liver's making bile all the time, but you don't need bile all the time. And so there's something that stores it, and that's the gallbladder. That's a really important question is what are the symptoms of gallbladder cancer? And maybe to put it another way, you know, how can I see this coming as a patient? And, you know, I think the sad truth is that most people are found with relatively advanced cancer because, you know, that part of the body doesn't have a lot of nerves that go to it. Most people don't know until something serious is going on. The most important thing that needs to be figured out when someone is diagnosed with gallbladder cancer is how advanced is it and what are the options. It's valuable to see someone with specialized knowledge in this area. That person could be either a surgeon with a lot of experience dealing with gallbladder cancer or an oncologist, uh, but those are probably the two best initial resources. And then. You know, being seen at a, at a center which manages a lot of patients with gallbladder cancer is quite valuable because, you know, there are, there are paths to treatment and options that require a lot of experience. And I think that the more the doctor who's taking care of you has seen this cancer, the better off you are. So this is a tough diagnosis, there's no question. Um, you know, like the other tumors of the liver, in most cases, it's not caught soon enough to be cured. And we have treatment options. There are chemotherapies that work and there are newer therapies that are still being studied which can be very helpful for some patients, but there's no question that this is a serious diagnosis. Because every patient's experience is different, it's hard to come up with one list of questions that every patient should ask their doctor when they're first diagnosed. But some of the things that are relevant to everybody are how advanced is my disease or what stage is my disease? Is my cancer curable? And what are my treatment options? In general, the three pathways are if surgery is possible, then ending up at surgery, whether or not chemotherapy is needed before surgery, and that's what's called neoadjuvant chemotherapy. If surgery is not possible, it's still possible to have radiation therapy and then have a period where no treatment is required and the disease is under control. And that can be a variable length that can often be several years. And finally, if the cancer has spread widely throughout the body, chemotherapy or some kind of systemic therapy, a medical therapy that treats the whole body, is really the option which can have the most long-term benefit.